Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Finch's Flight. In the last episode, we gained just enough Mews to buy our very own Highland style. But of course, as luck would have it, today is the final day of spring, so that means it's the spring festival, and nobody is going to be waiting for us inside the colony this morning including our shopkeeper, Starling. We even have all of these shells waiting just outside his den. So at least we have a pretty big surprise for him on the first day of summer. But for now, Finch is all alone to fight his own battles, of course. Oh, this time it looks like it's the Mystic Colony who might be looking to uh, block us from getting to the festival. I wonder if that's the Mystic Colony, or if maybe the Mountain Colony is dipping into our territory here. Leo is notorious for starting fights on these days of peace, so it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. But we do have plenty of herbs inside our pockets, so we should be able to keep ourselves safe. And our abilities are almost completely ready too, so I think Finch will be able to show Leo who's boss. Show him who the true King of the Highland is. So far, this new year has been incredibly successful for the Feather Colony. Now our territory is much bigger than it was in the winter time. We don't have such a tiny, secluded place to work with anymore. And we are slowly building our pathway toward the Sacred Temple, just like Penny did for us so many years ago. So I think with a little bit of extra food, we'll go ahead and munch on one of these bunnies again since we know how much energy that gives us now. And it'll put Finch in the right fighting spirit. I do hope some of our guards have decided to stick around and not go straight to the festival. Oh my goodness, just as I feared, it looks like the mountain cats are coming after us today. And there are tons and tons of cards out here too. Oh, they're all scattering, but unfortunately we couldn't catch up to them. And it looks like most of our guards have been taken out now. We just have a slate way down here. Can you give us another hand? There we go, we only have one more to go. Oh my goodness, that one was a little bit tricky. Thank you for sticking around for us. A big juicy trout would be perfect right now. Oh, if I could catch that for you, I definitely would. But unfortunately, I don't think our guards are willing to accept gifts. Well, we'll go ahead and scoop up that golden seal to store away in Galen's Grove. But otherwise, we should probably head straight to the festival. It's already starting to get a little bit late. Yeah, Leo really sent out a massive amount of his guards today. That's the thing, because he doesn't enjoy the festivals too much. He's already made that very clear. So I guess that means he keeps some of his strongest at home, so he can steal our territory while we're out having fun. We will leave the last battle alone for now, though. I'm sure that's just the Mystic Colony trying to take over the quarry again. So I would rather spend time socializing at the festival with all of our new cats. This is going to be Starling's very first time experiencing a festival? That dove was in an awful big hurry. Wait a second, do you think maybe there's an enemy up here somewhere? Or was it just a dive bombing us? There is literally nothing up here. Well, that was very, very strange. Somebody is trying to distract us. Well, we're not going to be distracted anymore. We are going straight to the Spring Festival this time. Oh, and there's Starling waiting by all of the beautiful trees. The perfect place for him to set up camp. Isn't this lovely? They've got the temple all decked out with flowers. Great work, as always. I wonder if he had a little hand in that, maybe. He is very good at decorating, as we know. So I wouldn't be surprised if they had him lend a paw. I saw so many new plants growing near the temple this year. Perhaps they have healing properties? I still think you should get to know Galen. You guys could probably come up with some pretty interesting remedies. Even a guard has to get away from home every now and again. It's good to take breaks from work. Yeah, sure, Jag. You say that now, but your guards were really tearing into our territory. These events can yield a great deal of intel about the other colonies. Yeah, you know, let's back away slowly. We don't want to give them any hints. This has been so much fun. Remember to come back for the summer festival next season. Oh, Pebble is already excited for the festivals to come. This one has barely even begun, little guy. I love meeting new cats, and this is the perfect place to do that. 
Oh, I wonder if Delta has met any of our new cats. I haven't seen the others around yet. Yeah, they all must be down here mingling with the forest and with the mystic colony. Again, it doesn't really surprise me that our cats are not too warm toward the mountains. <laughs> I'm having fun. Sure you are, Luna. But most of our cats are rightfully wary. How my heart soars to see the games go smoothly. There is much honor to gain in these contests. You know, it's too bad because so many of these mountain cats are so sweet. Especially Robin. She's all about having fun. Festivals are my favorite days of each season. Now the oracle is gazing across the water. The heavens smile upon our peaceful gathering. Uh, she must be keeping an eye on all the mountain cats too. I wonder what she thinks of Leo's constant meddling. We have Ember over on this side, greeting all of the cats who stumble in from the forest. I don't leave the forest colony often, so it's nice to get out and celebrate like this. And Missy, you get the chance to see little Ruby again. I'm sure you've missed her quite a bit. I wish every day could be a festival day. They're just too much fun. We have Mare, who seems to be all alone between the pillars. I hope you've had a productive spring. Enjoy it while it lasts. And then Sarge watching for Penny, perhaps? Or any other cats who might be stumbling from their territory. I can't stay for long. I have to get back to town. Take a load off, Sarge. Coco will make sure nothing bad happens here. Oh, we haven't seen Scout in quite a while. I always leave the festivals in a great mood. I've noticed that our relationship is slipping with a lot of these forest cats. So maybe it's time to bring a whole bunch of gifts to the cats themselves, and not just the colony. I remember coming to the Spring Festival as a kitten. So much of it is still the same as I remember it. Oh, I bet that's exactly how Finch feels right now. I'm sure that Penny let him and his siblings tag along every now and then. At every festival, I startle a few cats with my mask. It's great fun. You know, I'll bet Crampy and Griffin would actually get along quite well. Even though Crampy is a little bit more eccentric, he is a little bit more of a trickster than Griffin is, Griffin would probably still appreciate plenty of his pranks. I hope you are enjoying the festivities. Of course we are, Alyssa. And Claudius, you're keeping a very close watch over the land. There is much intel to be gained from the actions and words of the other colony leaders. I'm starting to think more and more that Claudius is actually connected to the mountains. That must be where he came from. Maybe he was even Leo's head guard back in the day. How was your trip to the temple? It can be a little out of the way. We were okay aside from, uh, the paddles? Okay, I guess we'll take this power paw. I must have walked over all of the uh, tiny little paws next to the trees. I was sure I had done that already, but it must have been on Penny's save file. Well, we will gladly take it. I guess all of that battling paid off after all. Or it could always be a little gift from the Forest Guardian. We are in the Sacred Temple after all, so maybe they're glad that we're slowly making a name for ourselves in the Highlands. Isn't the forest a lovely in spring? So many seedlings are growing up. It looks like Nil is by the water too, along with Lyris and oh my gosh. Griffin and Galen are talking together? Oh, I knew this would happen eventually. Even a healer must take time to rest and relax. And Griffin, are you having a good conversation? Oh, he looks so happy. I'm only here to win. There's no cat that can beat me at Flower Frenzy. Oh, Griffin has a soft spot for flowers. We should definitely make a mental note of that one. Inspiration comes in many forms. These fun gatherings are excellent for reviving the creative spirit. Now, are there any other cats over here? No, I think that's it. We just have uh, Nil over on the other side, and then I think we should be ready to start the games. It's a good day for a festival, don't you think so? I certainly do, Nil, and it looks like we're ready to try out the flower frenzy for ourselves. So Coco, what new things do you have in store for us today? We have that scratching post down here. I think that was the very first decor that Penny ever purchased. Oh, we have the cottage style. A pack of cute cottage-inspired architectural styles for your custom colony. Looks like a Tudor village. Oh, that's really cool. 
we might have to try for that next year because I think this year we're going to go for the special colors. I do want something new to give to Starling since I think it would be fun if we give him a new coat color every season. So we need to broaden our horizons here, make sure we have plenty to choose from. The painted color seems like it would be nice for him, since he is a bit of an artist, but it costs eight tokens. So we have to make sure that we're on top of our game as we join in for the flower frenzy. Now let's see if Griffin is joining us today. No, it looks like it's Alyssa and Scout, actually. So we're going to be playing against our father. But since we've already played the Flower Frenzy so many times, I'll speed through this one, grab all of our tokens, and I'll see you guys again as soon as we're ready to pick out our prizes. All right, I had to come back for this one. So far we've had two perfect rounds, but now it looks like Griffin is finally joining in on the games. So I thought you guys would probably wanna see how he does. I'm not worried about losing. They should have sent some real competition. Griffin is really confident. A little bit overconfident if you ask me. Finch has done a very good job so far. So let's see if he can keep up his streak. On your mark, get set, go. So first we have to stand on yellow. And Griffin, are you already getting confused? Oh, the poor little guy. He thought he was so good at this. Now he's starting to get his groove again. There we go, Griffin. The first one was a little bit tricky, but Griffin knows his colors. Stand on yellow next. It looks like we're almost done. Stand on blue. Oh no, he's starting to get confused. Now not white and not yellow, so we'll stay on the blue. And not red and not white, so blue again. There we go, yet another perfect round for Finch. So sorry, Griffin, but we're gonna be taking all of those lovely tokens for ourselves. So 10 festival tokens for us to spend. And that means we will have just enough to buy that painted color. So Starling is going to be awfully happy with us. We have a brand new style for him to dye his fur in, as a little thank you for giving us the Highland decorations tomorrow. So with that, I believe we have successfully taken care of everything we possibly can in the Spring Festival. We'll go ahead and head straight back to our den, and then I think we'll be ready to curl up to sleep. Yeah, there's probably no use in going out again at 9pm just to search around for some little extra morsels. We'll wake up bright and early on the first day of summer and jump straight down to Starling's Den. I hope he wakes up early. I'm not sure if we've ever checked what time these cats stumble into the sun. Thankfully, Claudius is an early riser, but that's because he goes to bed so early too. You know what, Claudius? While we're here, why don't we go ahead and uh, strategize with you? Because we haven't done this in quite a while. And I think it would be a good idea for us to maybe start chipping away at the mountain domain again. We'll set up our own battles so we can push them further from our heartlands. Now Starling, today is a very special day indeed. Not only do we have some little scallop shells to give you, so I hope you're really going to enjoy these. Yeah, he seems to. I knew you were a clever one, Finch. These are great, thanks. That's actually what he said when we gave him the doves as well. So I guess those are two of his very favorite things. But the shells are probably the easiest to collect, and they don't give us quite as many mews when we sell them, so it would be a good idea for us to fill his pockets with those. Now let's check out your shop. Hopefully you still have the Highland style in stock. There it is, 150 mews. Oh my gosh, the butterflies. I forgot about these. Oh, I'm sure some of the cats in our colony would enjoy the butterflies as gifts. Maybe even Starling. He did enjoy those too when he was quite young. But so did Raven, if I remember correctly. So it's another good way for them to celebrate their younger days. But let's see what the Highland style looks like. As a Finch's Den. We don't want the shabby style. That doesn't blend too well up here. Oh, but the Highland style is gorgeous. It has all of those pine trees, and it looks like it's just one big giant log. 
Oh, this is absolutely perfect for a little highland lake. Let's go ahead and plop it down. And then I'm pretty sure we still have a few more walls to use. Oh, they're little stumps. That is adorable. We could use these as scratching posts, maybe? We could put them outside Claudius's den so he has something to sharpen his claws on. And I'm sure Griffin would appreciate that as well. For now, we'll place this last wall next to Finch's den, because as a leader, he probably needs to keep his claws the strongest. We could even think of it as the meeting stump, a little throne for Finch to sit high on top of, so we can talk to his subjects, of course. Now let's see what uh, the other dens look like too. The doctor's den, I suppose? Oh my gosh! That is absolutely beautiful! And that works so well for Galen's Grove. It almost looks like he's burrowed into a thick tangle of bushes. Yeah, I think we're going to change his den over to the Highland style too. So after all of this hard work for the colony, Finch is definitely going to have to get Starling his prize. So let's go ahead and back out of the build menu. Oh, this place looks so much better now. But we can't get too distracted. We have battles to fight and we have butterflies to collect. So we'll go ahead and drop off a couple of quick gifts for these cats. And then set off for Mew collecting again. Oh, I think that's a tropical butterfly. Oh my gosh, two of them? Well, let's at least try to get this one before it flutters away. I know we had some trouble with uh, one of the dragonflies in the fall time. It skittered straight across the lake and then we never saw it again. So it seems like when they flutter off the screen, they kind of disappear. Or maybe not, it's kind of hard to tell. And of course, we can't attack them when they're in the water either. So that makes it particularly tricky. That's the one problem with living so close to such a giant lake. It's not very good for hunting down rare bugs. But at least we finally have a nice froggy gift to share with you, Griffin. And then with one last gift of a nice juicy rabbit for you, Claudius. We should be ready to set off for our first battles of the day. So I think the first one is directly below us. We have the mountain cats, of course, looking to cut straight through our territory. It seems like they might be trying to use our own methods against us. I know once we had cut straight through their territory too, thinking that by cutting them off from the highlands, it would be easier to take control of the place. And honestly, it seemed to work out pretty well. We do have most of the highlands under our control now, so we must be doing something right. But let's use our lion's roar because plenty of reinforcements are coming in now. So we want to pick them off while we still have the chance. And are you guys maybe related to Pennycat? Both Ocean and Ash look so much like our mother. Have you seen any of our enemies around here? I was tracking some paw prints, but I think I lost them. Don't worry, I'm sure you got rid of everybody who was in the area. Hold your head high and proud, Finch. You belong to a strong and prestigious colony. Well, thank you very much, Ash. That's a nice compliment coming from one of our strongest guards. Now, we won't spend too much more time away from the Highlands, because we don't want to uh, miss Starling, of course. And is that another rare butterfly? I think this might be the iridescent butterfly, yes! There's the royal purple ones too. Are they called emperor butterflies? There are tons and tons of special butterflies up in the mountains. Raven would be so jealous. With all of those in our pockets, we will definitely have enough Mews to buy Starling his token. In fact, I'm pretty sure we only need 25, so we could technically turn back right now. But let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of the next battle, just because it is so close. Right below the quarry again. It might be a little bit trickier since we don't have our abilities to work with, but luckily it looks like we have plenty of cats on our side this time, so we might not even need the extra help. You know, only two more cats to go. There we go. You guys had this one under control yourselves, didn't you? This is actually the first time we're using one of these recolor tokens. So let's see what it says down here. Give this to a cat in your custom colony to recolor them to a color you have unlocked. Yeah, so we don't have too many in Finch's save file. We never really bothered collecting them before because there wasn't much of a reason. But that's all going to change now that Starling is in town. So let's give him the recolor token. Oh, a recolor token. What did you have in mind? 
Yeah, there's our nice painted style. So let's go with this one first. Oh my goodness. He looks like a little Easter egg. That is so cute. And it changes his portrait too. Oh, that is adorable. His eyes are still that eerie magenta color though. One of the greatest things about business is getting to know your customers. If you can understand your customers, you can learn their needs. If you know their needs, you can better address them. Which is certainly why you came all prepared with the Highland style, isn't it? Well, I think this will be a pretty fun tradition. We'll try to collect enough colors so we can change his looks every single season. And the fireflies are back too. This is the first time the Finch has been able to uh, decorate the Highlands with all of these beautiful lights. Oh, we should try to light up the lake. That would uh, not only look beautiful, of course, but it might also aid some very foolish kitties who would otherwise go stumbling straight into the water. And by foolish kitties, I do mean Finch because he does often dive head first into the water when he wakes up in the morning. Not the most pleasant way to greet the day, I'm sure. So hopefully this will help him out a little. Now I'm not sure if we want to really light up Griffin's place, though I suppose with the red fireflies, that might give the cats around him more of a reason to stay away. The menacing red that matches the color of his eyes too. I think you dropped this cardinal? Oh my gosh, Griffin! I guess he really did appreciate the red fireflies. He gave us a cardinal in exchange. Well, that's one way to increase our Mew supply, I guess. We'll have to sell it off straight away with Coco and make sure that we're picking up plenty of these red fireflies in the process. Now that we know it's his favorite color. And speaking of things that are red, it might be time for Finch to consider buying a new accessory. I'm sure that red scarf isn't too comfortable for him right now in the hot summertime sun. But thanks to that cardinal, we now have 64 mews, 64 or more to put in our pockets. So we're already well on our way to maybe buying another cat. That's what a lot of you seem to want to see next. So in the next episode, we'll get to work saving up for that. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!